Hey, what's up everybody? This is Rob with Fruit of Labor Landscaping. I'm out here in my own uh, home foodscape and food forest that I call the Serene Forest. And today is Friday. And to get you started and kicked off for the weekend, we're gonna do a Fun Fact Friday. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about Seminole Pumpkin and just like, you know, gourds in general and talk about how you identify uh, male and female flowers that need to cross pollinate so that you can get a good harvest from your plants that need to be cross pollinated. So when flowers begin to emerge and uh, have have fully matured into an open flower it's really easy to tell which ones are male and which ones are female. Right here we have a male flower and as you can tell it's uh, you know really long coming off of the uh, main vine and then it opens up and on the inside you will see male organs as far as flowers go. Female flowers on the other hand should have uh, what looks like fruit on the back end of them and obviously this flower has terminated and hopefully it got pollinated because if it did not then this fruit will eventually uh, just fall off. Um, kind of like uh, us humans as when a, you know a, a woman has an egg that's uh, being released if it doesn't get doesn't get fertilized by the sperm uh, eventually it is going to be uh, processed by the body and then eventually pushed out so our gourds especially or any plant that needs to be cross-pollinated will do the same so I'm hoping that this flower got cross-pollinated otherwise this fruit is lost. Here we have another um, female flower that has yet to open but obviously you can see that on the back end there is a fruit so that's a way we can distinguish it from the male flower and um, typically what I like to do is uh, find some male flowers and stick a paintbrush down inside them and then bring it over and pollinate the female flower once it's opened. Now pollinators should be doing this job for you, but if you feel like they're not doing it uh, effectively enough, you can do uh, cross pollination by hand. And my favorite thing to do it with is a craft paintbrush. And in contrast over here, you can see a male flower that has yet to open. And as you can tell, obviously there's no fruit on the back end of it. So that's how I know that this is a male. Typically the male flowers are gonna come off the main vine a lot farther, especially on this plant, the Seminole pumpkin. But all your other plants like zucchinis and squash and cucumbers, this all holds true even for um, some of our gourds that aren't necessarily as well known like lupa gourd. Uh, you should see the same type of habit on them as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Fun Fact Friday. Sorry we didn't post a What Is It Wednesday this week, but it's spring break here in Central Florida and we've been really busy. So I wasn't trying to go out of my way necessarily to do a was it, What Is It Wednesday. And, uh, but I, you know, Fun Fact Fridays are a lot easier to do. So we went ahead and did one during our spring break here in Seminole County. Uh, Check out our website where we have a gardening forum. We also have our online blog where you can see all of our What Is It Wednesday and Fun Fact Friday posts as well as just keeping up on what we're doing in our own foodscape and food forest. Like I said, we call it the Serene Forest. And uh, make sure you check out our online shop where we sell some plants we can ship. So check that out and if you like this video, Make sure that you follow us or subscribe to us because that really shows your support and helps uh, support our business along the way. Happy Friday, everybody, and uh, hope you guys have a great weekend.